Welcome back everybody to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, thank you so much for the support lately, it's been absolutely great. If you can continue to subscribe and thumbs up, that'd be great. Thank you very much. Let's get into it. Wow. Well that definitely got burnt down, didn't it? Holy shit. Braithwaite Manor. Bye bye. Good. Hated that crazy bitch. Looked like an old witch. Let's go find Penelope. She is. Uh, hello there, Miss Penelope. Lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on, let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or, or bows. Well, you met them. They're animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters. If God had lost all his powers of imagination, can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo, why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on, let's go. Of course. Where's me horse? Hey, why, Jimothy? I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay, let's try no to get you a train. And Bo's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up, or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can, makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well, if he's there, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watch me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say. Our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. Oh, you saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. I have so much bloodshed. I, you think this could be a new beginning? But everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Sure is. has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty before you have. Plenty will again. But... Yeah, as far as it goes, get out, don't look back, make something decent of your lives. He's a good man, isn't he, Bo? There are worse. He's kind, and he's caring, and he's strong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to laugh. He, he's a lot of things, but... Strong? <laughs> here, he, yeah. he'll be out at the front. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just just to the first stop? Fine. Hello there, Bo. You came. You came. All right, fucking hell. Go through me. My best of men. Oh, I'm hardly a man at all. But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. Oh, sir. How can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do... 10,000. Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Sure. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. Yeah. Right. Can I have 
three tickets to San Denis, please, sir. Of course. Uh, oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly, but good to see you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Excuse me, Alden. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. Come on, then. I'm pressing the button, but it's not blocking. Get on the train. Go to your woman. Four fists and maybe one. Night, night to you. Boom, boom, boom. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Alright, all done. That is quite a family you've got there, son. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half brother as a slave, so what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity, and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bully them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah. Well, how delightful. Oh, my lord. Ah, oh, shit. It never ends. My second cousin. Goddamn cousins. I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. I'll deal with this. Jewels? I knew you had some damn jewels. They're coming from over the hill. You must have all the jewels in the state. The amount of your cousins is here. Where are they go? It just disappeared. Kill him, man. Yes, she did. Here he does. If only I could actually hit them. Shut up. Is that all of them? And some more. Take a look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out. Yep. Driver! Driver, we're in the clear. Time to start this train again. Damn it, you did run. Remind me to rob your trains, mister. Accelerate. Let's go. I can't believe he ran off on train. What a vagina. Behind a metal box. Fuck's gonna get him. Well, at least I get to drive a train. That's cool. Anybody coming? Not seeing anybody. Buffalo. But I ain't seen people.
We're almost there. God, this is a slow train. Chugga 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 chugga. Come on, Thomas. There's me, Jimmy Philok, behind. Just chilling. Good old loyalty. This the place we need to stop or no? Okay, keep going. Now it goes into a cutscene when I'm nearly there. Fantastic. you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That Braithwaite trailer. Do I accept it? Oh, for Come love. Take it. Now, let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there? Mm -hmm. This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> Wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! <gasps> Miss Braithwaite is gonna hold on to this until arrival. Hmm? On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Just say thank you. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah! Good guy, Arthur. Hello, Reverend. <coughs> Reverend? You okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. Road. We are going to go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're going to get a boat. We're going to get on a river, and we're going to go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of... Commotion and then we disappear. We need more commotion, one score, and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Me for nope. nothing. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello, hello, Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we, uh, 
pretended to be mercenaries. They did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn, how do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. The men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah. Crazy ass Dutch. with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. I'm surprised if Dutch shot the fucking chief. We can get the more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping him up into a frenzy. We got enough folks coming after us. Loud out in armies, bastards, and walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son. Tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take the pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. There goes my health again. And a bit of energy. In this, Dutch. You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves. And even you know that. I told you. Noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise. And faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkerton's assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with them? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. We can slip away. But the Pinkertons aren't gone. Like They'll be back. We just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. After an need to completely different things there's peta these men like i said they'll help us i got the canoes the boat is still moored in the channel good let's wait until nightfall all right wakey wakey That's better. Ah, 
let the guy with TB, bro. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. And when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Let's hope you're right, Dutch. Why is this going to be a very long night? What's happening? I have no control. There we go. subduing oh, I just killed him he said to kill anyone so I stab him And I don't need to. Okay, so where are we going? What are you doing? Got a plan. What the hell? Take it back. What the hell? Did not work. Did not work at all. How many bullets does this guy need? He's dead, isn't he? You got it. Oops. Just blow it up. Run. The boom. Where are we going? This way? Come on then, let's get you to shore. Okay, I don't know how horse is drowning. What's Butch doing? Oh, he's riding a horse. I thought he was swimming. Doing. 
There we go. Oh no, he's not been hit, has he? Has he been hit? You okay, bro? Oh no, he's been hit. Fuck. That did not look good. Only food. Do eat some Got no energy. Oh, seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur. Will... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. My father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Yeah, of course I will. Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behavior. I understand. Thank you. Psychopathic. Unhinged. Right here. Hey, dickhead. Ah, there he is. Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy. <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it. He started it. <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We got to get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We got to confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine. Then you'll do Dutch's bidding, which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me, you two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this shit. Guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And Cowpoke, you take it easy. You could do with a vacation, hmm? <coughs> God, I want to kill him so bad. All right, let's go. You're such a let's dick. Go, Whoa, have fun, boys. Marcus says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Hall. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch. Same as always. 
pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch Kid yep. Cornwall? Well, that needed to be done. Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Yep. Let's head off. So, back to what you were saying. Right now? Pinkerton's breathing down our necks. See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Well, I am dying, so I want to go a bit soft, don't you? Okay, let's hold up here. will be coming from that way, down from Annisburg. It'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of him. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and I'll cover you. I got that. <coughs> I got that. Oh, that's I bet you do. Think. It'll be quite the show. Where am I going? No, nope. that is not a door, that is a window. Where's the door? There we go. How does that not kill him? Jesus Christ. Ooh. Good night, sunshine. That didn't kill him either? Really? Here we go. Bullshit when the bullets don't do what the men are do. Die already, Jesus Christ. God, I hate this gun. Reload, come on. Didn't kill him. Come on, man. There we go. What do you think I'm doing? Oh, okay. I don't see any more. All right. Oh, that was close. Don't 
Yep. I nearly died. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. Great. What's going on? Listen, I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need Very better sad. from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. And one thing I do not do is trust you. Well, guys, 